Princeton, Texas. What is going on in Princeton, Texas? Northeast edge of what locals, what we call the Metroplex, the Dallas-Fort Worth community. Uh, huge, right? The Just about the very last notably developed town in the Metroplex to the Northeast is Princeton. Now, it's about 20 minutes east of McKinney, Texas, if you're not familiar at all and you're trying to wonder exactly where we are. Uh, 380 is the major highway kind of tollway that's connecting really from Princeton all the way over through McKinney and Frisco and through the tollway and beyond to the west, the kind of the northern edge of the Metroplex. Um, as Princeton grows up, and it is growing really, really fast, uh, from 2008-ish, uh, it's doubled about every six years, doubled from 8 to 14 and is probably, we're still kind of waiting on final data, but probably doubled again uh, through 20 or 21 and who knows, might be on pace to double again. But growing like crazy, large communities, large neighborhoods coming in, developers building lots of houses, um, kind of a mid to upper mid price point neighborhood type feel. Um, probably the entry point at the moment, and the re only reason I say probably is because at the, at the filming of this, things are changing very quickly uh, in an upward trajectory. 400s-ish, right? Maybe gonna squeeze in some high threes, but definitely seeing fours and up out there. Not necessarily a market known for top end of the market, not necessarily crazy luxury, but we definitely see acreage properties out there where you see a very nice home on two to 20 acres. That's still happening out there quite a bit, but the personality of the, of the community is changing towards large, new, nice neighborhoods. Um, now, to the east of Princeton, uh, you have Levon Lake, or what a lot of people call Lake Levon. Uh, a a, a good-looking big lake that's not, net, not as popular in the Metroplex yet as some of the others for boating and recreation, uh, but a very popular lake uh, for fishing and wildlife and sports. Um, I think it will become, it is becoming more popular for recreation as there's more residential housing around the lake. It has historically been kind of the northeast edge uh, and created a geographic edge because moving across the lake, a little bit difficult to travel to. The next the next city east of Princeton across the lake is Farmersville and it's, it's experienced some similar uh, rapid growth uh, as well. And then further east, you have Greenville, Texas, which has long been in uh, kind of the beginning of entering into East Texas from North Texas here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Greenville's got some wine country and some farming land and a lot of things going on there. But Princeton uh, feels a lot like McKinney or to the north you have Melissa. Uh, from a residential housing perspective, feels similar to some of those areas with some big, nice neighborhoods. Still very much has a small town feel. Uh, it's got a 5A high school about 1,300, 1,400 students there. Uh, so a big school, not the highest level, not the largest high school you can have in the area. My guess would be give them five or six more years and they'll probably be 6A and beyond. Um, you've got uh, Collin College campus there. Collin was originally Collin County Community College and has transitioned into a four-year college over the last decade or so with campuses in and around the Metroplex. Uh, the Collin campus there, uh, you know, brings a lot of value to the area as far as not only education, but uh, jobs and things that can come with uh, the university or the college model. Um, you've got really kind of the entrance into what I would consider kind of hunting and fishing and camping and recreational territory out there to the north and specifically to the northeast and east of Princeton. So a lot of people are driving past Princeton as they leave the Metroplex to go and vacation, go out for the weekend, go camp, go hunt, go fish, go ride the mountain bike, go ride the four wheelers, that kind of thing, go to the lake. Um, and so Princeton's a great launching out point if you're interested, if your lifestyle uh, involves some or a lot of those things, kind of a great place to really think about. Uh, McKinney has a smaller regional airport east of McKinney, west of Princeton, uh, if you know if someone's into flying or uh, tends to fly in and out of the smaller airports, or if that's a benefit to you or your business, something to factor in uh, for living in or moving to or just learning more about Princeton as well. Uh, the truth is, if you were to look at a satellite image or a map, Princeton would be the last thing that looks developed 
for that area. That will not last. At the pace that things are happening now, you're seeing McKinney sort of connect to Melissa to the north. You're seeing McKinney and Princeton connect uh, you know, together. And then I think you'll see Princeton grow and grow to the east as Farmerville, Farmersville grows over to the lake. And again, you'll see that 380, that highway corridor, really start to mesh together as there just continues to be more residential and commercial development in the area. New Hope's another city to think about, just kind of west of Princeton, northeast of McKinney, north of that 380 corridor there. Um, probably not one we'll do its own video for. Uh, a smaller community, but similar to Princeton. It's an area that we've had a lot of real estate clients move to simply because they could get more house or a little bit more land than they could in McKinney or Frisco or Allen or Plano, some of the larger communities just to the south or the west. Um, so New Hope is something to think about, but it's also a factor if you're thinking about making a move to Princeton. It's kind of the the developed big neighbor to the west that you would notice, at least right now, that you have left Princeton, there's a little bit of a gap and you've entered New Hope. I, it probably won't last too long that there is a gap as those cities continue to develop more neighborhoods and commercial development, strip centers, things like that, and will ultimately kind of connect, much like a lot of the rest of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex does, where broadly you might say, hey, I'm still in Dallas, but really you've gone Dallas, Richardson, Plano, Garland, Murphy, Saxe, Lucas, all these cities that are south and west of Princeton, um, eventually Princeton will connect. That, that trend is already happening, but for now, probably for the foreseeable future, maybe the next 10 years or more, Princeton's kind of barely connected to the Metroplex and really is insulated by some more rural or at least kind of extra suburban. There's people living out there, but they've got space. They've got trees, they've got land and grass, uh, and not everybody's bordering by a 10 foot fence in a, in a neighborhood vibe. So really cool area, uh, lots of desire, lots of demand out there and builders and developers are meeting that demand with some pretty rapid growth. So uh, check it out. If you're in the area, you're thinking about making a move uh, to Princeton, definitely worthy of consideration. If you're outside of the area and you're thinking about a move to the Metroplex, Princeton and surrounding areas are something you might wanna at least compare. That's what we do. We're a real estate brokerage. If we can help you buy or sell, our contact information is below. I'll see you on the next video.